Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous unboxing review. It's true. Today's items were provided by Chronicle Books, so big thank you to Chronicle Books for giving us all something to look at together. So just recently, Chronicle Books did this beautiful collaboration with Lego. And I am such, I'm a total book junkie. I love reading, I love paper, I love writing, I love stationery, I love office supplies. I really do. I can walk around an office supply store and just imagine this beautiful, organized world for hours. That's how I get my jollies. <laughs> so when I learned that Chronicle Books had collaborated with Lego, because we're toy collectors and we all love Legos, I was seriously awestruck by some of the beautiful, beautiful pieces in this collaboration effort. Just such unique products. And honestly, buying Legos isn't the only way to wave your Lego fandom flag. You can buy paper or photography books or puzzles now. And seriously, some of the stuff in here is just so beautiful. So I'm really excited we get to look at some of these goodies together. Before we go any further, please give this video a big like and subscribe to Toy Wizards on YouTube so you don't miss a single one of our updates. Because remember, we update all the time. So as I mentioned before, I love paper products and some of the items that Chronicle Books is releasing in collaboration with LEGO are just beautiful. We have stationery, we have note cards, we have postcards, which is seriously sending mail, getting something nice in the mail, it's a little reminder that you're loved. Hugely important in our climate right now. Remember to tell people that you care about them and that you're thinking of them because you know you want that in return. Even if you don't get it in return, just say it, it's so important. Love the people in your lives. Puzzles are a big one right now, and what is really astonishing is some toy photography books, art books, coffee table books, starring Lego minifigures. You'll see some of the stuff we have in here now. Chronicle Books spoiled me rotten. I am so grateful that we get to check this stuff out together. What do we have in here? Tell me a little bit about your relationship with Legos. Are you guys big Lego collectors? Are you builders? What sort of kits do you enjoy the most? Do you only build Lego for specific kits such as Star Wars or the Mario sets? What's your, what's your favorite kind? I'm personally a Lego fan. For me, I don't buy so much the kits, but more like if you give me a box of them, I like to build robots or like little houses and play with my daughter and my son. So again, the for me, the specific kits aren't that's not what I buy when I play with Legos, but it is the like the bucket, <laughs> the sea of Legos. I, I enjoy kind of free thinking and not having to worry about building a specific thing. But anyone who builds the specific thing always has my utmost respect because they are not easy and the engineering that goes into Lego is like, whoo. So what's inside the box? Mini figure notes, note brick, mini figure journal, still life with bricks and a puzzle of minifigure faces. And that's all I got for you guys to- Kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. We're gonna open these and go through them. Lighten up, have a sense of humor. We're all just having fun. Starting with minifigure notes. Back of the box. So you can see it's toy photography in little notes. It includes 20 Lego note cards and envelopes. Alrighty. Look at these. Oh my gosh, adorable. Wow! So these are cards that you can open. Oh my gosh, like what a nice alternative to like birthday cards and stuff. These are so nice. If it weren't for you, I think I'd gone crazy a long time ago. OMG, are you breaking up with me? The more I get to know people, the more I like you. You make me feel 10 feet tall. Congratulations! Let's stick together! I know it's hard right now, but it gets easier. Oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You make me smile. Chase your dreams. That's a little bit of snark. <laughs> no words. And then from there, they repeat. So there's 10 of them, this box of 20. First 20 people to comment, I'll send you one. These are so nice. When Toy Wizards received notification of this collaboration between LEGO and Chronicle Books, we wrote an entire article with all of the merchandise that they've either released or that's upcoming. So I'll make sure that I link that article from Toy Wizards into the description so you guys can make sure that you have access to these products and more. There's a whole lineup of them. We're just looking at the tip of the iceberg today. Note bricks. 
224 note sheets paper in different colors with just the bricks printed on them so you can write on the front or the back there is another palette of these that's a blue green kind of gray foamy color and I personally like this palette better. I'm definitely a yellow, orange, red fire color person, but I like that there's a secondary option if this palette just isn't for you. It looks like Tetris on the side, I love it. Now we're going back to the journal. Something about this picture like really affects me. It is so beautiful, such beautiful artwork. Like, I don't know, I can feel like that light gliding through space. They're breaking apart and still reaching for each other. Maybe I'm a secret romantic, I don't know, but there's a there's like real like sweet, soft, quiet stillness to this that like I can feel the outer space and I just really like it. Here's the back. So some cool photography there. Different colored pa pages, blue, pink, and you can see the floating mini, mini figures. I, I tend to give away a lot of the samples that we receive, but this one's for me. I love, again, I love paper. I love writing. I take notes for myself. I journaled for a really long time in books until live journal was a thing. So this is really, this is really sentimental and beautiful. Definitely encourage you, all writers, just brainstorming. Cause you know how it is when you make, when you create content or art or you write, it's just like an idea sparks and I got to write it down right now. This one's self-explanatory, but it is a 1,000 piece puzzle of all the minifigure faces. Oh my gosh, that would take a while. That is beautiful though. I've been looking to do more things with my hands. So I have a new model kit and now I have, I have a couple puzzles, um, just, you know, idle hands. So you def I definitely think it's good to keep the brain and the head busy, especially in our quiet times right now when we're all still on lockdown so we want to make sure that we have lots of things to do that revolve around things that make us happy it's a beautiful puzzle and again if you look at the article that we wrote on toy wizards you can see the other puzzles included in the chronicle and lego collaboration lineup they're really cool you should check them out and last but not least still life with bricks the art of everyday play it's like a spray can and the legos are coming out Lego bricks spark the boundless creative spirit in all of us. This colorful book transforms life's little moments into surprising works of art, all created using classic Lego bricks. Discover the play in every day as you explore a world reimagined in bricks. Let's check out some pages. I collect art books. I really do like photography, toy photography, art of any sort. I'm really, really into it. I like musical theater. I like... You know what I really like? Um, my favorite thing to look at in museums is old furniture. There's something about old furniture and clothing that just really get my mind like, how were these used? What's the story behind the use of this and not just the creation of this, which is also fascinating. There's so many different layers of imagining the product, the person who made the product, who's the product for, or the furniture, or the clothing, and then leading up to, now these people are gone, but this stuff was recovered and it's in a museum. So clothing and furniture. Those are my, those, that's my, that's where I will run to if I go to a museum. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Hum, more breakfast. Ooh, makeup. Oh, that's pretty. Have you ever been to anyone's house that like does things like this? Like take Legos and make it like visual art? I've never, I've never seen anyone do that before, but I think that would be really, really clever. That's neat. Ooh, science. Neat. Oh, that's cool. Like a flashlight in the dark. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Big thank you again to Chronicle Books for giving us something to beautiful to look at together. I had a lot of fun checking this stuff out. Again, I know it seems a little off the cuff, but I love paper, we love collectibles, we love Legos, and just to see them utilized in this unique way is a really special opportunity. 
Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Visit our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarkticles, editorials. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll see you for the next one. Be safe, have fun, and keep collecting. Bye!